Hey, it's up North Guy again. Going to do an owner product review on an awesome combination I'm using on my truck. It's the G2 backflip tonneau cover with the Elevate rack system. Going to tell you what I like about it, some of the best features, why I bought it, and some things I really wish they could improve. Why did I buy it? I had a retractable tonneau cover. I did another review on this one. It was the roll and lock. And there were some things I really liked about that. There's some things I didn't like about it, but one thing it couldn't do was work in combination with a truck rack system. And I really wanted the rack to get kayaks up on top mostly and other things that you can haul up there with full access to the bed. So I ended up getting this combination. Now these are two different brands, Backflip and Elevate are not related, but they do work together. Talk about the backflip first. This uh, very solid unit here. These are kind of thick panels. It's aluminum on the outside. It's a composite. Thing works really simply, just like a lot of tonneau covers that are trifolds like this. You're just pulling down on a strap. There's one on either side. It's just going to fold in place like that. This gives you a little access here to the back. You want to go up another level. You want to go to the next level, you just pull it again. That's going to fold up here. That's the two-thirds fold right there. You can use the cover this way. You just have to snap in these clips here that will hold it in the front. It's held at the back here with uh, the little rail system there. So you can get pretty good access to your bed when you do it that way. That will put it in that position. If you want to fold it all the way up, you can do that as well. I'm going to pull this one more time right there. It's going to fold all the way up. It's got these little bumpers here that you put on when you're installing it. You want to make sure you get those in the right place so it doesn't bang into your glass. And then to hold it up, it's got these prop rods here. And just loosen up. Drop in place like that. There's one on each side that'll give you full access to the bed. Now, that's one thing I really like about it that you know was a disadvantage of the retractable because with the retractable you've always got that box here in front that takes up a lot of room. And to reset it back down, simply you're just closing each section, rolling this thing back. A little easier to do from the side. It's just gonna click when you do that. There's two. And then there's the last one. You know, one thing I really like about it compared to the retractable is the retractable you always got a lock, so you got an extra key to do that. This thing's gonna be locked down once you close and you lock, you know, your gate, your tailgate like that, it's locked up. Uh, let's talk about the install for a second. So these are two separate systems here. So the elevate rail system is on the inside of the truck bed here and then this part is going to be for the backflip. Now there's a lot of good instructions online as to how to do the install. I'll say that you know I just did this myself. I'm kind of average mechanical ability I would say. It was one person I was able to do it. You just follow the directions. I'll put the links in here for those videos that show how to install it. The only thing is a little bit different about it that you got to understand is since there's two systems this inner rail here this system is going to be the the rail for the elevate that's got its own clamps and its own kind of track there you want to put that one on first then you're attaching this outside system here the only thing i had to change with it out of the box was to use the thinner there's like a thinner uh, weather strip that goes in there so you want to take off the one that's on there that comes with the G2 and put that thinner strip on because it's going to be pushing this thing in if you got that thicker strip in there it doesn't um, it doesn't install too well but I just use the clamps from the G2 it clamps onto both of them holds the outside rail system on for the elevate rack and then also for the trifold 
All right, so this Elevate rack system, super nice. It's got two positions. This is the high position here. You can unbolt this and it'll drop it down. You can go into a lower position, maybe if you had bikes or something like that. But this will get it up over the cab of the truck here. It works really well for getting anything up high enough, like kayaks, paddle boards, things like that, to get tied down up there and then still have full access to the bed. It's on a track system here, so you can adjust this up or down. I've got it kind of all the way forward and all the way to the back, but these things would unbolt and then slide up and down there to adjust it any way that you want. So I've really been enjoying using this thing. Uh, I put kayaks up on the top, transport of a trailer that goes on the back. So uh, it's really great for that because, you know, the, uh, the other option is if you're going to haul kayaks, put them up on top of the roof of the truck. That to me is very hard to get up there. This way, at least you can be walking in the bed and you've got uh, an easier way to get up into the rack, get something on there and then get it off of there. Now, one of the things I wish they could improve on this, the main thing is this rack system is just a little bit too high to fit inside a seven foot garage door, which is what I've got. So when the rack is in the top position like that, it's probably like right at about exactly 84 inches on this truck, which is the F-150 2020 model. And if you got any kind of trim or weather stripping, which I do have on there, you just cannot get the thing in the garage with it up like that. I wish it was just a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, or I wish there was a way you could adjust this easier, just drop this thing down easier instead of having to unbolt it. That would make it a lot more flexible to get it in and out of a garage. Now you can take it off. All right, it's got bolts. You can just unbolt, slide the thing out, but it's really not meant to be taken off because if you look at this, it's got a little plastic piece here on the back. This thing is actually weather stripped in. It's got a little um, Allen screw that goes in there. You take this on and off, it's going to wear this little plastic piece out. So you do have to, to remove this in order to slide the whole thing off of there. So I've not been doing that. So what I've been doing is I... Um, just unbolt it here and just lift the entire rack up once it's been unbolted. And that works pretty well to get the rack out of the way. Then obviously I can get my truck back in the garage. So the problem then is, is you've got these bolts sticking up here that are just sort of loose and, and sliding around there. So they have a thing uh, like this. It's a little cleat that comes on here. It's actually meant to be on the track with, with this together. So you have two cleats. I'm just showing one, but there's two cleats on either side that they give you. It's got its own bolts to go in there. So when you buy the system, you get the rack and you also get the cleats. But to me, I only want one or the other. I don't need both of them on there. So I'm going to have to take the rack off in order to get my truck in the garage. I'll take that off. I've got these bolts sticking up there, then I'm going to go bolt this thing back down in it. That's just going to, uh, you know, just so I don't have the, the bolts sticking up there, I'll, I'll screw that back on to these things here. The one little thing I wish that was different is this bolt, the T-bolt that goes here, is, is the longer one, and then there's a shorter one that goes with the rack. I wish they were the same. That would be uh, a lot easier to work with. So I'm using the longer bolt because I got to use the longer bolt for this cleat here. But then when you use the longer bolt, obviously you need something to hold it down. So I got a bunch of washers sort of stuck in there for that. This is like a typical you know, Yakima kayak holder that, or, or canoe holder you might put on top of your car or something. If you look at this, this barely, in fact, it doesn't even really fit there. It's so thick, this piece of... Uh, the rack system is just it's just made thicker than that so um, i'm still looking for a kayak holder that works that well i'm using these pieces here this is like just a foam uh, piece that i got off of e-trailer i'll put the link in on this product here but it works um, you know i don't think i would drive with it without a kayak on there but this will hold a kayak on there sturdy. It's actually very inexpensive. How could you make it better? It'd be nice if there was just a little bit thinner of a bar there. I think that would be plenty sturdy enough 
for it and also allow you to get more accessories, you know, more readily available accessories like the kayak holders and other things up onto that rack. It's up in the high position like this, you can get the trifold all the way up, no problem at all. If this thing, uh, if the rack is in the lower position, so if I were to unscrew this, drop the whole thing down to the low position here, none of these uh, trifold uh, parts of the cover are going to open in there. It's just too low. So this thing in the low position, you basically have no access other than just maybe kind of tilting up a little bit the last panel of your trifold to get in there, but the rest of it is going to be blocked. You know, I love the sturdiness of it. I love the flexibility, the utility you get out of it to be able to use, carry stuff on top of the truck bed like this with full access to the bed. It's been a big improvement over what I had before with the retractable. <music>